Hey guys, so I'm back. Yes, I'm back on this channel. I didn't think I would be back. I had some filler videos left over and thought I was just going to play those videos out. And I had no idea this was coming. Obviously, this is something quite interesting. I'm not going to lie to you and talk and say I did not, I did not see this coming. Uh, the reason I did not see it coming was, should be pretty pretty obvious. When you are in MetaZoo he, and you delete all your MetaZoo videos, you probably don't want to talk about MetaZoo no more. And you definitely don't want to talk about your involvement in MetaZoo. So give, give Alpha Investment credit. I think I've been talking to a few people online who got really just demolish the meta zoo they're happy i mean they're not happy they're just like okay well at least this guy is speaking out against it or speaking up because they, they have if you're just a meta zoo investor and you've been investing you probably don't know i mean you're you're not really a player you probably don't really know what is happening here um i would even imagine that uh long term you don't even care that much you just know that you cannot sell your cards so to get Alpha Investments, you know, in a, what is it, a 48-minute video, 42-minute video on actually what happened and, you know, what is going on in MetaZoo, it's interesting. Uh, he says MetaZoo has a 10% chance of coming back and being successful and a 50% chance of coming back. That is a lot higher than I give MetaZoo, and I've actually been involved in looking into potentially partnering now to buy MetaZoo. Now that was an interesting thing. Um, I think uh, that was a discussion that maybe we had misunderstood how much money it would cost to buy MetaZoo. But uh, we, we were serious at the time. We were definitely very serious about uh, buying MetaZoo at the time. I was gonna take all the alpha investment promos, all the Hello Kitty merchandise and, and set up stuff. I thought that would be fun to have around the home. Uh, like the San Diego Comic Con convention, they had a pretty cool setup for Hello Kitty. I thought it would just be cool to have it around the home because I, at that time, knew I was going to have a daughter, and my significant other loves. I mean, they just loves Hello Kitty. So back to the the issue of this guy. Uh, again, I give him some credit because Argos Anonymous. We can talk about Argos a little bit. He was more positive about MetaZoo than him, and it's really obvious to understand why. Alpha Investment promotes a lot of new card games. Sorcery, uh, we well, Weiss is not new, but kind of like, I, I don't want to say new card games, okay, like not magic card games. Uh, the Flesh and Blood, uh, the Argent Saga, was that him? He, he produced, uh, what was that other game? It's like another anime game of some type. So he's produced a lot of various other games, or he's promoted a lot of various other games. I would even go as far to say some of them have failed. There was another one that is not doing well right now. There's, there's like a few of them that he promoted when he was a smaller channel. This is the bad one. Uh, why is this so bad? Like I told Alpha Investments in my videos, which he does watch. Hello there, Alpha Investments. Uh, it is so bad because your face is everywhere, right? Like in these other games, maybe you have a promo card about yourself, but your face isn't plastered on literally every playmat on eBay. If you go on Met if you go on eBay right now, you type MetaZoo, I guarantee you without scrolling, you will see something related to Alpha Investment. So many Alpha Investment cards were made. So many Alpha Investment cards were produced. It is just really hard for me to imagine you get away from this. Uh, it, it's just not a, it, it doesn't make sense like how you, you're literally the face of this game. Like there is no other person, not even the creator, Mike Waddell has nearly as many play mats and things. And, and, and it's just like, you know, like for the Fable, for the Flesh and Blood, that kind of made more sense, right? You got your own card, you were able to sell your own card. That, that makes sense to me um i think uh that type of relationship um where you're not like you get a special card you get some special play, play match but the play match are specific to the game not to yourself 
But when every single set is another Rudy card, and the only thing that is selling is more Rudy cards and more Rudy cards, right? Um, what what the hell is happening? You know, like what what can you really say about this? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think there's not much you can do because you can you can try to get you can delete your videos because you're embarrassed, which is what Rudy said. But you, you won't be able to delete the cards because they're in other people's hands. Even the cards that you and your family made um, are now stained with Meadow Zoo. Meadow Zoo is a scam, guys. People like in the Meadow Zoo community, like don't, I don't know why. Okay, so t everyone can agree TCG Con is a scam, scam, right? Everyone can agree that if a convention held a tournament for $50,000, the winner won the tournament, and then they decided simply not to pay out the winnings and then just bankrupt, we would agree that that convention should shut down and should not be allowed to reopen and rebrand as a different convention, right? So that convention should not be able to go bankruptcy, not pay anyone the winnings, right? And then create another convention, let's call it CCG, CCG Con, and then continue to do this over and over again while pocketing the money and spending it uh, literally on OnlyFans models. It turned out that that's the story, at least from some people on YouTube. We agree to that. Or we also would agree that a card game store, a game store that would sell pre-orders and they collect everyone's money, million, perhaps millions of dollars of it, and then disappear and then bankrupt itself after taking everyone's money to furnish the the uh, creator's lifestyle or the uh, store owner's lifestyle, they should not again be allowed to open. They should not be allowed to open again. So that's a game store and that's a convention. So what makes a card game that much different? This card game not only did one of these things, right? They did both. They held a giant contest where the winner, to my knowledge, is still not paid out. And I don't know where, when, they you know, I, I don't think that guy's on the list of people to be paid out uh, very urgently. I think he's at the bottom of the list as well as in sitting with him at the bottom of the list are the people who are pre-ordered. Some of them ordering, I've seen the receipts, $500, $600 of pre-orders because they thought it was a good deal. At least in the case of uh, some of these game stores, right? The uh, one in Hong Kong and Clutch ca Cards or Clutch Games, they at, at least had the decency to stop at one pre-order before scamming their thing and running away. MetaZoo has done this pre-order shit for a long time. They have, con I mean, they're just a Kickstarter baby. Everything they know is just to take your money and then spend it and then ask you for more money. So basically what I'm suggesting here for Alpha Investment is kind of simple, but like really, it should be really logical. Look how fun he's having. This is not even my screenshot. This is Nick's strength in Pokemon and he's the number one meta zoo. Look how fun these two dudes are having. Yeah, look at this. Oh man, I'm ready. He's having a blast, guys. He's having so much fun. He's having more fun than anything else he's ever done in his life. Meta poo, baby. Meta poo. You need to stop it. I need to stop it because at the end of the day, like, you know, what is preventing the next owner from just rug pulling you again?